In this video, we're going to look at our perfect squares 1 to 20, and we're going to look at our perfect cubes 1 to 10. So it's a good idea to have these memorized, and so we're just going to go through here and fill these out. Okay, so 1 squared, 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, 6 squared, 36, 7 squared is 49, 8 squared is 64, 9 squared is 81, and 10 squared would be 100. Okay, so go back up here to 11. 11 squared would be 121, 12 squared, 144, 13 squared, 169, 14 squared, 196, 15 squared, 225, 16 squared, 256, 7, uh, 17 squared, 289, 18 squared, 324, 19 squared, 361, and 20 squared would be 400. All right. So let's look at these perfect squares real quick. Okay, so we know that for a perfect square, that means, you know, we have an exponent of two, that means one times one. Remember this one is our base, and this two is our exponent. Okay, so some good ways to memorize these, I think, you know, one through 12, we should have those memorized because that's our times tables we've been working on since third grade, probably. We usually go through our 12s. Okay, so let's, let's look at 13 through 20. So 13 is 169, so for that one, um, you just kind of need to memorize that one, but if you know 13 squared, look 169, you can look 14 squared is you just switch the 6 and the 9, so you go from 169 to 196. Pretty simple. Uh, 15 squared, 225. Uh, how do I remember this? It has a 5 in it, so can I just remember 225? And obviously it's going to be bigger than 196. All right, 16 squared has a 6 in it, 256. Uh, 17, 18, and 19, um, probably the toughest three. Um, don't really have a specific way to memorize those. Just have to look at it and memorize it. Okay. And then 20 squared is 400. So that's 20 times 20. That's when we have, you know, zeros on the end of our numbers. We're trying to multiply. So we can just do two times two is four. And then we have two zeros there. Like, you know, two zero is 20. Um, 20 times 20. So we have two zeros there. So four and add two zeros to the end. So those are our perfect squares. You need to memorize one through 20. Okay. So let's look at our perfect cubes. Okay, so now perfect cubes, um, we're going to look at um, numbers that are being multiplied by their selves or by themselves three times. So like this would be one times one times one. Okay, so obviously one cube is one, two cube to be eight, three cube to be 27, four cubed, 64, five cubed, 125, six cubed, 216, 7 cubed, 343, 8 cubed, 512, 9 cubed, 729, and 10 cubed is 1000. Okay. Um, for the perfect cubes, I think, you know, one cube, we should have that. I think one through four. Should be pretty easy. Um, just think, you know, one times one cubed should be easy. Two cubed, two times two is four, times another two is eight. Three times three is nine, nine times three is 27. Four times four is 16, 16 times four is 64. Um, five times five is 25, 25 times five is 125. I think those, those three should be pretty easy. Um, 10 cubed should be easy, it's a thousand. Okay, so you're looking at six through nine there that are kind of tough. Okay, so 6 cubed, 216 has a 6 in it. Um, 7 cubed, 343. You can look and say, you know, 3 plus 4 is 7. And then we got a 3 at the end. That might help. So 343. Uh, 5, 12. Mm, these numbers add up to 8. All right, 5 plus 1 plus 2 gives you 8. So you maybe could remember that. 729 has a 9 on the end. Okay, so those are just some ways. And there's a million ways you could use to memorize these. So let's zoom out here. You can see all of them. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. So perfect cubes, 1 through 10. Perfect squares, 1 through 20.